thinking there is one more step than there is and taking a giant awkward step fall over seemingly nothing. The amount of times I've done this walking down the stairs I always think it's the last step and it ends up being the second one from last and I always end up falling. I end up falling down that step and nearly end up at the front door. At least it's not that awkward when there's no one around but when there's someone around it definitely is awkward. But obviously I can also relate to this when I'm walking up the stairs where you think I'm at the top step and you end up misjudging it and you end up slipping a bit but you manage to grab on and hold on to the stairs so you don't fall all the way back down because that would, that would painfully hurt. Walking down a hallway, aisle, etc. and someone you know is coming towards you but you don't want to make eye contact too soon but you don't want to miss that window so you look at them, quickly look away, then look up again a second later. That's like when you see someone you know walking down a shopping aisle and you're like, you look up just to see if they notice you and then you keep casually looking up <laughs> and it kind of looks awkward to anyone else walking past but you're just going <laughs> it's just completely awkward being with people in a quiet room taking a drink of water and having it go down the wrong pipe causing you to launch it into a spastic coughing fit oh god I've had that done to me like you want to try and be quiet and then you're opening it quiet you're looking around to make sure no one's noticing you and Imagine if you was in a library doing this and then you go to drink it and you're like, oh, this is fine. In your head you're thinking, oh, this is good. This is fine. It's just going down normal. And it ends up going down the wrong way that you go, <laughs> you end up spitting it out or something like a spit tape and you go, <laughs> and it goes out and everyone looks at you and then you start going, <laughs> you end up lose, catching your breath and you're choking and everyone's staring at you and you're like, I'm okay, I'm okay. I'm fine, I'm not dying, <coughs> I'm fine, <coughs> until it actually goes away or someone comes over to you to help you, usually people just sit there and stare at you like, she's weird or he's weird, why, oh my god, that's awkward, trying to walk past someone on a motorised scooter without looking like you're trying to race them, <laughs> it's like trying to overtake them and they're on a, they're on their scooter and they're going slowly past and you're like, what? let's just casually try to walk past them but make it look like I'm not speed walking to try and like go quicker than them because this is just going to look even awkward because they'll probably end up trying to turn up the speed on it and go faster just to, like you're racing them. That would actually definitely be awkward. When something you're wearing or sitting on makes a noise that sounds like it could have been a fart, then trying to cover it up so everyone knows it wasn't a fart. That's so awkward because it's like when you're sitting on a chair and it scrapes against the floor and it sounds like a fart and you're like, try to play it off. Like, you try to make the chair squeak again so that it doesn't make it look like it was a fart, but you can't. That's when it gets even awkward, I'd say. But like... Definitely, everyone has probably done this. You've done something, you've moved, and it's just sounded like it was a fart, but you know deep down you didn't do it, and everyone else is thinking you did it, so you're trying to, like, disguise it. It was not a fart. <laughs> Imagine if someone just burst out and went, It was not a fart. My chair scraped against the floor. <laughs> that would be... <laughs> that would make it even more awkward and embarrassing. Being stuck in the break room with a co-worker you don't know that well and forcing small talk while you wait to use the microwave. That's got to be embarrassing because you don't know them, you don't know anything about them and you just want to go in there for the microwave to put your food in and warm it up and you're just like, yeah, hi, um, I'm Jess. I don't know if we've been introduced. What's your name? I'm Marie. <laughs> Nice to meet you. Um, are you finished with the microwave? <laughs> Imagine being just like that. If I ever get in that situation, that's probably how I'd actually react. Talking on the phone and interrupting each other over and over, eventually ending up with dead air and no, you go ahead, back and forth. That's so annoying because you're trying to get what you want to say out and they're trying to say what they want to say and... You literally just start talking over each other like, 
hey, remember that day when we was at the beach and they was and they took over you like, hey, I just met this cute boy at the store, like, he's so good. Yeah, but you know that day at the beach? Oh, he's so dreamy and everything. And then you're going, until you stop talking and you're like, no, you, you go ahead. No, you go ahead. No, you go ahead. No, you go ahead. And then someone just goes, just go ahead. <laughs> and then you probably got someone in the room that just goes, just speak first. Shut up. <laughs> that would be just so funny. <laughs> I think it'd be more funny than embarrassing if I was in a room and someone was doing that. Accidentally walking into the wrong bathroom or walking into the right one and making identical eye contact with someone through the crack of the small door. Imagine being a girl and walking into a boy's restroom. Now that would definitely be awkward because you'd be like, uh oh, this is the wrong bathroom. But imagine if you didn't realise and you ended up going to the toilet and then you came out and there was all men in there and you'd be like, wait, what? <laughs> you'd be so confused, you'd be like, you're in the girls' bathroom. They'll be like, no, we're not, we're in the boys. And then you go outside and see on the door that you have actually had a picture of the boys. And then you'll be like, oh, well, this is just awkward. But walking through and making eye contact with someone for the crack of the store door, that would definitely be awkward. Especially if you're like, you're just slowly pushing it and they can see you like, oh, this is so awkward. I don't know what makes it awkward, but it just is. Asking a question, ignoring an answer, and being too ashamed to ask again because they'll know you weren't paying attention the first time. <laughs> the amount of times I've had a conversation with someone and I've zoned out halfway through only to come back on a conversation and have no idea what they're talking about and you just play it off with a smile or a laugh and you go, <laughs> that was so funny, and they're like, it wasn't funny. My dog died. And you're like, uh oh. I'm sorry? You weren't listening, was you? I was, yeah, yeah, I was. I just, I didn't hear that part of the story. I kind of got distracted. I'm sorry. And then it's kind of awkward that way. <laughs> Running into someone you've met a few times, having them call you by name, and having no clue what their name is. That would definitely be awkward because you'd be like, they'll be like, Jess, Jess, and you'll be like, oh, hey, I don't know your name. How are you? I'm good. You don't remember what my name is, do you? Yeah, I do. It's, um, what's your name? That'd be completely awkward. That's how I'd imagine it would be. Making eye contact with the store employee while trying to refold a shirt and put it back on the shelf. Yeah, or when you've dropped something off the shelf and someone at work there sees you and you have to casually just make out that you didn't do it and you just casually pick it up and put it back on with them still having eye contact with you because they clearly saw you drop it and you have to pick it up. Which some people probably would argue that it's their job to pick it up. But it's always kind to actually pick it back up. Standing there while you wait for your dog to do his business and then waving at someone with the plastic bag full of dog poop in your hand. <laughs> oh god, imagine doing that. I don't have a dog so I've never done this. But just imagine actually being like, oh my dog's just done his business. Oh, hey, uh, yeah, I'm just waving to you with a dog bag full of its poop. What would be even more embarrassing is if you waved and it fell out your hand and it landed over at someone. As long as it didn't land on someone, then that would be really awkward. <laughs> Being left alone with a person you kind of know, yet have no interest in getting to know because while well, the third mutual friend steps out of the room. Yeah, so when you're with your friend and they bring someone that you don't know and they go I'm just gonna go to the bathroom so you just sit there with the friend their friend and you're just awkwardly sitting there like do I make contact do I say something maybe I should say hello and uh, it's really awkward it's the complex decision-making process of figuring out the right time to go to the 
revolving door and if there's time to go in there with someone or wait it out them doors are annoying like they go round and round and you're trying to get in and then they either go too slow or they go too fast and you end up somehow mistakenly keep going round in circles and especially if you see something that looks like it's on the outside and you're going round and round and you're thinking where's the outside <laughs> You're trying to get in and you keep seeing the outside and you get confused. Oh my god, you'd be so dizzy. Having the toilet clog or not flush anywhere other than at your own house and being forced to let someone know. Oh my god, that would be so embarrassing. Imagine going into a toilet because you was desperate to go only to realise you didn't have toilet roll in the cubicle where you were. And you have to ask someone, hey, can someone pass me some toilet roll? <laughs> It'd be awkward if it's not someone you know. Like, if it's okay if your friend's there because you could be like, say the name and be like, can you get me some toilet roll? There's none in here. And I did not realise. I should have probably looked. And then they actually go and get it for you, which is kind enough. But what would be even more embarrassing would be if you clogged the toilet and it was in a public place and you had to go and tell someone you'd probably be be so embarrassed you'd probably go there is a toilet in there clogged i just thought i'd let you know i didn't do it but i'm just letting you know when reality is you did do it <laughs> but you didn't want them to know that saying goodbye to somebody and then realizing that you're both walking the same way at the same place <laughs> that is so annoying it's because you think oh they got this is the way I'm going they're probably going your way oh um, I'll see you around and then you start walking the same way together and you're thinking you going this way and they're like yeah and you're like oh okay and it's just awkward silence I guess that's the end of the video I hope you enjoyed. It did not make that much sense, did it really? But I hope you enjoyed it. Definitely awkward moments, I would completely say. But anyway, I'll see you next time with a new video. Bye.